My name is Christina Honkinen with Clean Energy News, and I'm at the home of Steve and Libby Smith today as they have a solar thermal system installed at their house. Uh, today we're installing a solar thermal hot water system which consists of uh, two collectors on the roof and an 80 gallon solar storage tank here in the basement. There's two collectors on the roof which um, they're approximately four feet by eight feet and there's an inlet on one side of one of them and an outlet on the other side of the other one so as fluid uh, comes into the collectors it runs through serpentine piping picking up heat going into the next collector picking up even more heat and is um, circulated into a heat exchanger in the bottom of the solar storage tank where you know, it releases the heat and then goes back for more. And that process occurs all day long as long as the uh, collector temperature is warmer than the tank temperature. National statistics here in the United States are that uh, 15 to 25 percent of all the energy our home uses goes to heating hot water and keeping it hot all day. So. collectors will get the tank somewhere in the neighborhood of 130 to maybe 160 degrees Fahrenheit um, during the day. And uh, as the Smiths or whoever uses the water draws it off, um, it cools the tank. And um, uh, basically, this is a two tank system where the solar storage tank feeds an existing hot water tank that still has the elements connected. So on days when uh, perhaps the solar storage tank is only able to get to 80 degrees or whatever, the existing tank uh, will either, either gas or electric will fire, bringing the hot water, bringing the water up to 120 degrees for for domestic use. So um, you know, in most cases, the thermal collectors will get the water plenty warm enough uh, so that the existing tank does not need to heat the water. It will just be a pass-through tank. There's uh, uh, two adults and a toddler, and I expect that uh, they would probably uh, have this system paid for through the efficiency in four or five years, based on current tax credits. And then it will last another 20 um, years yeah, after that. Yeah. 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 Um, I about, what, two feet coming out there again. Well, um, this is a closed, it's a pressurized closed loop system where we have um, a propylene glycol solution, which is basically a food grade antifreeze that doesn't freeze or boil, circulating okay. between the heat exchanger in the tank and the collectors up on top. So that pressurized system um, circulates all day, and that is how the heat is transferred. 